Good morning. If you are visiting today, we are so happy you are here. Please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby so we can meet you and present you with a gift of appreciation. As we do each Sunday, we are joining together today to sing songs of praise to God, read from the Bible, spend time in prayer, listen to a message inspired by God's Word, and gather around the Lord's table in communion to remember the blood and body of Christ and to celebrate what Jesus has done for us. Be sure to pick up a self-contained communion cup from the lobby if you have not already. It is a great day to worship our God, and we are so glad you are here. Our Agape Pecan fundraiser is going throughout the month of October. Order forms are available at Sign Up Central. Next Sunday, November 7th, will be our New Baby and Children Recognition Sunday. That morning, we will welcome all new babies and children who have come to Westgate since May 2019. Next month will be our canned food drive. The Girton Life Group is challenging the congregation to bring in 1,000 cans of food to stock the pantry. The pantry ministry has specifically asked for certain canned goods. Please see the bulletin for details. No Complain November is right around the corner. Beginning Monday, November 1st, we are encouraging everyone, whether at home, school, work, or church, to go all month long without complaining so we can refocus our minds as the body of Christ on the many blessings we have been given by God. In addition, we are asking every member to encourage one person each week in November, whether by card, email, text, or phone call. During the decade before 1492, Christopher Columbus felt a gnawing desire to sail west to the Indies. To prepare for his trip, he studied the writings of others describing the world as best they knew. When he eventually landed in the Caribbean, he mistakenly thought he had made landfall in India, which is what China, Japan, and India were known as then. And in doing so, he called the local natives Indians, a mistake made because the world he knew was much smaller than the actual world in which he lived. Remember what Paul wrote that one day at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Some of our relationship issues with God may be able to be traced back to the fact we often view Jesus as much smaller than He actually is. The next time you find yourself asking Jesus what He can do for you instead of humbly submitting yourself to Him and asking how He can use you today, think back to the beginning. Jesus was and is and always will be. He is the architect of the world, the one who chases away death with the wave of a hand, the one who could destroy creation with a whisper. That's our Savior. How well do you know Him? Let's join together and worship God. <laughs> 